What's going on guys, my name is Mike and welcome to a 59 and 2 on Hanoi Demolition. Uh, I've tried to fast forward the boring parts in this game, so I've fast forwarded the first 30 seconds or so and I've fast forwarded the two gunships that I managed to call in. I'm actually pretty happy about this gameplay, I don't know why. It's, I think I played pretty decent and uh, played pretty well, helped my team out, so I, en I enjoy it. And so for the people that don't watch the gameplay and just listen to the commentaries, this is a 59 and 2 with the M16 red dot sight. Uh, killstreaks are the UAV Blackbird and the gunship I believe. And we win pretty easy, but that's all I want to talk about the gameplay. This is, like I said, something new that I might be throwing out here and I really want it to be successful, but the... I want your honest opinions on how this goes, obviously not this bit, but I want your honest opinions on how this goes because this kind of stuff really interests me and the average age of my subscribers, I think it's 72% of the, my subscribers are between the ages of 13 and 17. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'm 17 and I find this stuff really interesting, so I, I hope some of you do as well. So if you think I could tweak it in any way and make it a bit more interesting, then please tell me. You know, I'm looking for constructive feedback here. And if you think I could, um, you know, just drop it, and be, drop it, and it's boring, then tell me also. But if you think it was really good and you want me to talk about some more topics, then I'm always welcome to suggestions like that because uh, I want to bring something new. And I haven't seen anyone do anything like this before, so that's why I'm doing it. Now, the thing I want to talk about, as you can see from the title, is the 9/11 conspiracy theory uh, that is very widely known. I'm sure you're all familiar with what 9-11 is. Um, if you're not, then on the 11th of September, I think it was like 2001, um, two planes hit the Twin Towers, one plane hit the Pentagon, and there was another plane which I'll go into in a minute. Um, and, you know, a lot of thousands of people died because it took the t towers down and everyone was working and they died. But people started to add stuff up and, you know, question the the legitimacy thing of the government because you know people put two and two together and everything didn't add up and people there's hundreds of videos on YouTube about it and if you didn't know I'm gonna talk about it in this video but um, I'm gonna put kind of a disclaimer thing well not a disclaimer but if any if you know any friends or family that was affected you know by this or you unfortunately lost um, like a family's life or something like that then you might want to click off the video because I don't want to upset or you know anger anyone by talking about this so I don't want to get any hate mail about that so if you want to click off the video then I will completely understand but people was questioning the legitimacy of the about the date the day because well there's lo there's a lot of reasons and I'm no scientist or mathematician so I can't go into like the physics and whatnot but I'll tell you the basics and uh, people were questioning why there was no fighter jets or something, I think it was the fighter jets that went to check out the scene after the first plane had hit. And the reason the government gave, what well, I believe, I haven't done too much research really, but the reason the government gave was the fighter jets was on a training mission. And guess what the training mission was? Uh, to prevent hijackings. So that might be a coincidence, but I thought that was kind of a bit fishy that the government fighter jets that was on a training mission on that particular day that hijackings happened yeah okay all right then. okay I'll believe that I'll believe that um th you know there's so much there's so many things well so many reasons why it could be a conspiracy but I haven't got much time so I'll try and rush through it really you can search videos on it if you want on YouTube I'm sure you'll find a lot more information about it if you care so uh, the second thing was, shit, what was it? Oh, the Pentagon. Um, a plane hit the Pentagon, and if you see a bird's eye view of the wreckage that that plane left, uh, the width of the damage that it caused wasn't... Sorry, I'm trying to think of the right word in here. Um, a plane, a Boeing 747, is it? Or something like that. Yeah, the width of the wingtips was a lot larger, like double the size of the hole that it left in the pentagon wall so you know people was questioning that you know why is the why is the hole in the wall that it left smaller than the plane itself people didn't understand that 
and all the CCTV CCTV footage that was on you know on the Pentagon not one camera caught the plane actually hitting it itself now I don't know why that is I don't know it, that's just fishy in my opinion I just, I just don't understand it why no cameras actually caught that footage but what are you gonna do right it's happened now I know people are gonna be saying why would the government kill thousands and you know of their own company uh, sorry of their own uh, people but it's happened before it happens now it happens in the future you know uh, the conspiracy that's widely rumoured is that the government did it and set it all up, blamed it on Al Qaeda, I think it was, to start a war with Iraq for the oil, as you know, and we're still over there today fighting, I think. So that is the rumour, and there's so much more information or weird stuff that doesn't add up on that day, but you know, I can't really remember it off my top of my head. Uh, there's another thing that I remember, um, George Bush. George Bush, obviously he was the president president that day, and he was actually caught lying on national TV because when he was told about 9-11 in, in particular, uh, when it first happened, he was being filmed and he was actually in a school telling the students something, I, I don't know what he was telling them obviously, but he was telling them something and then he was speaking on national TV and then he was caught lying because he said... He was quoted saying that he was in the hallway and then uh, his bodyguard told him what had happened and he looked out the window and seen the second plane flying and crash or something along, the, along those lines. So I don't see the reason why he would lie. I mean, I don't know what he's going to benefit from lying there, but we'll never know the truth. You know, there's, there's a lot of things, you know, the moon landing conspiracy that there's rumoured as well but there's a lot of things that you know I haven't talked about I can't go into the physics of like the building structure and how the building fell down and that that looked fishy and didn't look correct it uh, people have done you know calculate the physics and it looks like it was a planned explosion that actually blew down the Twin Towers but yeah I think that's pretty much the end of the game I suppose uh, if you did like it then please tell me because I'd love to do some more stuff like this I know I don't know if this kind of sounded boring because some of you may not like this, but if you've got any constructive feedback that you'd like to give me, then that'd be uh, hugely appreciated. You know, I could talk about anything really, like wars, I don't know, paranormal activity, talk about ghosts and whatever, I don't fucking care, but I just don't want to be really be talking about COD at the minute, so yeah, give me constructive feedback. Um, really appreciate a comment. If you can, then please like it, and if you haven't already, then please subscribe. But this has been Mike, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Alfie, get down.